So far we've talked about product bonuses and the importance of them, as well as why you really must consider adding them into your core product to create an outstanding offer that will lead to higher conversions and more profits for you and your business. That said, we haven't really talked about how product bonuses actually work, as well as how to actually source the bonus. So let's dive into that immediately. First, it's important to talk about what actually makes a good product bonus. Now, before we go into detail on this, I wanna caution you against overthinking this part of the process. While bonuses are important and will certainly help your offer stand out, they're not worth obsessing over to the point where you become paralyzed or confused. Keep this simple. So the first thing to recognize when considering what bonus item will go well with your core product is to think about the reason why the consumer is buying this core product you're selling. This will indicate what your customer plans to do with the product they're buying from you. Let's imagine that we're selling a TV bracket or wall mount. In this case, we know that the reason our customer is buying the product is because they have a TV. We know that this is without question true and therefore we can base our bonus around this. In the case of this example, we could for instance include a TV cleaning kit with the core product we're selling. As you can see, bonuses are extremely simple, minor additions that give our offer impact. They should be connected to the core product and therefore shouldn't be a random item. We always use physical products as our product bonuses, as we don't want to get involved in having to deliver digital downloads such as PDF guides or recipe books to the customer once they've placed an order with us. Now, if you're going to include these kinds of products as your product bonus, I highly recommend speaking to your supplier to see if they can print the guidebook as a physical bonus. That said, I prefer giving away simple physical items. Another key point to consider is the fine line between a bonus and a bundle. Be aware that a bundle is a collection of products bundled together to create a new offer, whereas a bonus is a single additional product packaged with your core item. The purpose of a bundle is to create a new offer that contains products that are connected in some way, whereas the purpose of the product bonus is to create some differentiation. An example of a bundle would be a complete set of barbecue tools that's packaged together with a barbecue grill cover. Bundles are a very good way to create an appealing offer, but they're very different to what we're doing here. The cost of your bonus should be approximately 10% of the cost of your item. So if your item costs $5, then the bonus should cost about 50 cents. Just to reiterate some key points. Now, I know we're repeating some of these things, but we're doing so because it's important that we continue to drill these ideas into your brain and make them a part of your thinking as you go through this process. So point number one, Bonuses are packaged along with the core product. Point number two, they may have to alter original packaging to fit into one sellable unit pack. Point number three, the bonus should be smaller in size than the core item. Point number four, flat folded items are the best types of items as they will easily fit into the packaging that your supplier currently uses for the core product. Point number five, if your bonus can fit into the original packaging, then we've found a real winner. So here's some additional examples for you. Example one, if the core product is a barbecue cover, the bonus could be a simple cooking timer. Let's take the example of a baking tin. In this case, we might look at adding in a silicon cooling mat as the bonus. As I mentioned, let's imagine we're selling a TV mount as a core product. In this case, we might add a TV screen cleaning kit. And finally, if we were selling a pet food bin, we might consider adding a serving scoop in as a relevant bonus. So then, how do we actually source a suitable product bonus? Your first port of call will always be to speak to your supplier and ask whether or not they can produce the bonus product for you. In some cases, they'll be able to do this for you. If they can produce or source the bonus for you and include it in the packaging, you can ask them to send a sample of your bonus when you're reaching out to them. The other situation you'll find yourself in as you begin to deal with more and more products is when the supplier of your core item can't produce or source the bonus item for you. In this case, simply use the same methodology as with the core product. In other words, go to Alibaba and find a supplier there using the same step-by-step -step method that I've already shared with you. If this is the case, then you won't always require a bonus sample as it's a minor item. If you're not going to sample the bonus item, make certain that you keep the bonus product simple in nature. Okay. So let's talk about connecting a bonus factory to your core products factory. If your supplier is able to source the product for you from another supplier, then you've certainly found the most simplistic method as you're going to be able to use your supplier as a one-stop shop 
for both the core product and the bonus. You must, however, ask your supplier to place the bonus in the same package as the core product. This will, of course, alter the weight and cost price of your item, which is completely fine. Just make sure that you get the weight of the bonus item and add this to the core product's weight. One thing to be aware of is that adding in a bonus to the same package as your core product may alter your item's dimensions. It's best to ask the supplier whether your packaging size will be affected when they add in the bonus for you that you've sourced elsewhere. All that's left to do is to update the weight, cost and dimensions in the Google Sheet. If the dimensions don't change, then you'd simply leave them as they were before the bonus was placed in the packaging. Now, if the core supplier can't produce the item, you must ask whether or not they can receive and package the bonus in with your core product. If they can, then simply send the produced bonus items to the core supplier. The core supplier will then package the items together for you. If they can't receive and package your item along with the core product, then you'll have to send the bonuses and the core product to a third party to be packaged together, either in China or in the destination country. As you may have already guessed, this is costly and should be avoided as much as possible. If you find yourself in this position, you're much better off finding a new core supplier who will work with the bonus product.